this never gonna draw a squirrel. Yeah, a fall squirrel, one that's ready for the colder weather. Yeah. We hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers. You also need some paper and something to go with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yeah. <laughs> Let's first start by drawing our little squirrel's eye. We're gonna draw a circle in the middle of our paper. I'm gonna draw it right about here, and I'm gonna draw it about this big. Maybe even a little bit bigger. I'm gonna draw another little circle around it just to make it slightly bigger. Yes, there you go. I like how big you drew yours. Then let's draw a small circle in the top left, and we can color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. Now let's draw our squirrel's forehead. We're gonna come straight out from the eye and we're gonna draw a curve that comes up and we're gonna stop about there. This is just the forehead. Yeah. And then let's draw the little nose. We're gonna draw a small little bump that comes out and then we're gonna draw the curve coming down for the mouth and we'll stop right about there. And we can also draw a little cheek line too because it's chewing on a little nut. <laughs> yes, and then we could also draw the little nose right here. We can just draw a little curve. Now let's draw the hat. We're gonna draw a straight line that comes across over the eye. That's the bottom of the hat. And then let's draw the top of the hat. We're gonna draw a big upside down U shape that comes up and down. Oh, I went a little past the straight line, so I'm gonna connect it back in. Yes, and then we're gonna draw a little pom-pom up at the top. <laughs> and then we could also draw uh, the, maybe a, a little folded over part of the hat. Okay, now let's draw the ears. We're gonna draw a upside down V shape. So we'll come up and then we're gonna come back down, kind of right next to the eye, huh? And then we can draw the inside of the ear. Let's draw a little curve. And then we could draw a zigzag. And then we're gonna draw a curve that comes down and connects to that zigzag. Let's draw the other ear over here. We could draw another upside down V shape. Now let's draw the acorn or nut that our little squirrel is eating. I'm gonna draw a oval shape, but only part of the oval shape because the other part is inside of our squirrel's mouth. And then we can draw the little stem coming out of the acorn. Now let's draw the mouth and the rest of the face or the chin. I'm gonna start here on the acorn. We're gonna come over like this and we can draw a little chubby cheek because maybe it has some of the nuts in its cheek. <laughs> I love it. Now let's draw our squirrel's glove or mitten. We're gonna draw a sideways U shape. I'm gonna start here and we're gonna draw it right there. So, oh, it kind of looks like the letter C too. Yeah. We could also draw the end of the glove. So draw a line down. And then let's draw the arm coming around like this and up to where the shoulder would be. Now let's draw the rest of the acorn. We can draw a curve that comes down and then connects to the glove. And we could also draw a little line up here. Also, yeah, just right there connecting to the mouth. Let's draw the other mitten right here on the other side of the acorn. Nice, now we're ready to draw the body. Let's come up here next to the ear and we're gonna draw a big curve that curves around like this. And we're gonna curve down and then back under. And we'll stop there. Then let's draw the foot. We're gonna draw the bottom of the foot coming forward. And then we'll draw the top of the foot curving around and then back down. Then let's draw the inside of the leg. We're gonna start at the top of the foot. We're gonna curve up and kind of connect to the arm and then we'll come back down for the knee. There you go, and then curve back down. You did it. Now let's draw the belly. We can draw a short line for the belly. Oh, let's just keep going for the other foot. We're gonna draw another foot straight across and then we can draw going up and then back down, same as this foot right here. There we go. And then we can draw this leg coming up here. Then let's also draw the belly coming up 
from behind the foot and then connecting up to the arm. Yes, there you go. We're almost done, except it just kind of looks like a mouse. What are we missing? It's big bushy tail. Yeah, big bushy tail. Let's start here at the hat. We're gonna draw a curve coming up. I'm gonna come up even a little higher. So let's draw it coming up like this. There we go. And then we're gonna draw an S curve. We'll start here. We're gonna curve this way. And then we're gonna curve around this way. And then come into the bottom, like that. <laughs> awesome, we did it. We finished drawing our full squirrel, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes, my favorite part. We are gonna fast forward, so remember to pause the video at the end to match our same coloring. Or you could color your drawings any way you want. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. coloring our fall squirrels and they turned out so cool. Yeah, they look so much better colored in. Yeah, and we also added leaves in the background, but you could add whatever you want to finish your drawing. You could also use whatever you have at home to color with. Yeah, you could use colored pencils or even crayons. We used our markers, our biannual markers. If you have the same set, we used Y611 for the belly and also the mouth and around the eyes. And then the dark red brown color that we used is R126. Yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your fall squirrel. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.